everybody, Eric here from Ordinary Ideas, and in the last episode, Clark made the long trip up here. Uh, he got caught a couple times, but hey, uh, they just throw you right out in the front, like every other Zelda game, and you can just come back in. So uh, here we are, We this is the first time we will see Zelda as her young form, and she'll say, how did you get past the guards, and obviously we snuck past them. And she notices that you have a fairy with you, and then she says, uh, from one of, I think it's, um, dream that she had or whatever, but she says, do you have the spiritual stone that you will rem remember that the, um, Deku tree gave us? And we, if you show it to her, she says, just as I thought, it was a dream, so, yeah. Um, but suddenly, a ray of light shot out from the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Prophecy, blah blah blah, yes I thought you might be the one. You better be sorry. Yeah, you wasted my time, thanks a lot. We already knew all this, from the dying Deku tree. Strange, it sounds. Okay, now she's just gonna tell us a uh, secret, I guess. Oh, wait, yeah, this is the song. I think she teaches us a song. Yep, she's gonna teach us Zelda's l lullaby. Uh, first song in the game. Well, never mind, I guess she's just gonna tell us this story again. And then she's gonna teach us that uh, Zelda's lullaby, which is pretty cool. You will definitely need need it in the game. Pretty much every single temple requires it. I'm pretty sure it does, except for the first one, obviously, because we didn't even did it with the Deku tree. Yeah. I would just like to point out again, I probably already said this, but that is very good 3D, especially for like the N64 back then. That is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, if I might say so myself. How peaceful. So, we find out that Zelda is a stalker, and she was looking at, I think that's her dad sitting out there, but all you get to see is, um, you get to see, uh, I'll just wait. Oh, look who it is. Mr. Evil Man. And I always thought this was kind of creepy as a kid. Just wait for it. Okay, maybe it wasn't that creepy, but whatever. Um, so anyways, I, I think he's just pretending that uh, he didn't, he just noticed something, but I'm pretty sure uh, in the real story he noticed you, because later they talk about, like, I remember seeing you somewhere, and um, he just, I think that's what he says. But anyways, we're not there yet. And Zelda's worried, blah blah blah, evil man, he's gonna take over the entire world. Uh, we are the only ones that can protect Hyrule. Please, I don't believe you. Please believe me, my prophecies have never been wrong. Well, they have been wrong now. Yeah, you're welcome. <sighs> you're lucky I believe you this time. You're not gonna be so lucky next time. We mustn't let Ganondorf get there. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. 
You go find the other two stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Uh, Zelda's letter. This will uh, get us past the guard up um, making our way to the second temple. Uh, it's used only once, so... Yeah. It only works with the guard. And this isn't the guard, if any of you are wondering. This is actually, actually her servant, um, I guess. Um, what is her name again? I can't remember. Impa, that's right. It was something weird. Uh, later, like, um, when Clark said that uh, Link's friend, I can't remember her name either. I'm terrible with names. But, oh yeah, Saria, Saria, or whatever her name is. The very beginning, right when you leave your house. Um, she's important later in the story, and Impa is also important later in the story. You will, pretty much every character you talk to and meet, uh, will be pretty important. Except for, you know, like the side cast, like, um, that one jerk that wouldn't let us pass. But here we go, here's, um, Zelda's lullaby, and you're gonna have to, it's pretty easy to memorize, actually. Left, up, right. Left, up, right. And now you will be, um, able to do a lot of things with this song, actually. Congratulations, you learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out the castle. I could just, like... Alternatively, I could just step out and they'd throw me back out, but who cares? Uh, I guess she's gonna lead us out. But she takes us outside of the entire place, so... Uh, she's gonna tell us that that's towards the next temple where that volcano is. Uh, Death Mountain. Home of the Gorons. They hold the Firestone. All right, well, um, at the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village. Yes, there, as, uh, I said before, there will be a man that will be stopping us there, and, uh, yeah, that's where we use that letter written by Zelda. All right. But next, before we go over... Oh man, look look at that. Look at that skill. Man, Impa's a boss. Okay, anyways. So, we are going to go get the Sunstone. I mean, not the Sunstone. What am I talking about? Yeah, we're playing Pokemon here, guys. Alright, yeah. Okay, anyways, we're going to be going to get the Sun Song. Um, this basically... Uh, it'll help a little bit, like um, a couple uh, temples later on. And um, also... Like when it's um when it's nighttime or whatever, you can also like in the overworld when it's nighttime, you could just play the sun song and it'll uh it'll be uh, daytime again. So yeah, it's always good because I know there's some people out there that just like hate the dark. I guess I I don't know. I don't see why people would, but whatever. And right now Clark is testing <laughs> hitting a chicken well not I, I call them chickens but they're they're real Zelda names cuckoos because they're cuckoo you know and if you hit a, a cuckoo um they will mercilessly attack you like thousands of them will come after you and it'll never end unless you like actually leave the area oh look at that wow um yeah, and I think they take away full heart, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you should probably leave right now. Okay, good job. Um, alright, here we are. Uh, this is the graveyard, and this is where we will be getting the sunstone, and this is actually, uh, it's pretty close to one of the temples later in the game, which... I know I've said this a lot, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but we will 
be discussing this later once we get to that point. We are actually right in front of it, but um you're gonna wanna go in you're going to want to play Zelda's Lullaby and that will open this graveyard place. Well, this grave. And I think lightning hits it, I'm not sure. This is, this is always a cool little uh, thing right here. Yeah, lightning uh, strikes stone and I guess breaks it in a million pieces, but it's Zelda. What can you expect? Alright, jump in the hole. And here is the royal family's tomb. Um, you're going to be seeing uh, Keese in here. I don't know if we've already seen them or not, but yeah, those bats are called keys and you're also going to be seeing another new enemy which can be one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game if you don't know like well if you're not good at avoiding things so yeah uh, I don't know if there was a total I think there was a total of four bats in there but four keys so kill all the keys and then uh, proceed through the door and then here's the next new enemy it's called a redead um, um, they can be really annoying, uh, if you don't know how to avoid them. If they somehow grab onto you, just start button mashing, and eventually they'll go off, but they will take a lot of your health away. So here, here's, um, this tomb that says basically all about the rising sun. Uh, there's a song, and there it is, carved at the bottom left of the tombstone. And, um, you're going to want to... It's, it's already going to play for you, and then you're just going to want to play it back so you can uh, record it into your song. song. I always think Link has like a song book, but I guess he doesn't. Alright, uh, let's see. You learn the sun song, and look at that. The rain stopped. Okay. So, um, let's see. Do I say let's see a lot? Yeah, I must see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, leave. Let's leave the, t the family tombstone. Yeah, just avoid the reed heads. And that is always annoying. If you walked, if you even walk past them far away, that, like, it'll go to that cutscene. And yeah, it just gets really annoying. So just avoid the. I think the keys like re regenerated, but whatever. Um. So yeah, go out. And uh, I think we're gonna leave the graveyard and go towards the temple with the Gorons. So play the sun song here, and it'll clear up the clouds and. Get rid of the rain. Okay, well, I guess it didn't get rid of the rain, but got rid of the clouds. Okay. Oh, wait. It did get rid of the rain. Okay, so anyways, um... Sorry, I really don't know what <laughs> goes on anymore. Um... So leave, uh, the graveyard and then proceed through Kakario Village, uh, with... If you remember, Impa said that this is her home village, and, uh, yeah. Looks pretty crappy to me, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this is it for this episode, so join us next time.